Hi there, and welcome back to my beach. <laughs> um, yes, so anyway, today I'm going to be listening to Jump Up by Sakura Gakuin. I haven't actually done some Sakura Gakuin in a couple of weeks now, I think. And, um, sorry, seagulls again. Anyway, um, I haven't done some Sakura Gakuin in a couple of weeks, but this was one that which was recommended to me. I've been trying to get back onto the baby metal more because um, I listened to Karen's Girls, listened to a few Sakura Gakuin songs. Um, but obviously I'm trying to build up a top five for both bandmade and baby metal. So I thought I'd have to get back to concentrating on uh, the actual baby metal songs. But I was enjoying uh, Sakura Gakuin. As I said, you know, there are, there are a, 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 a girls school idol group in a lot of ways nothing they're really going to do is going to surprise me and that most of it seems to fall into that kind of level but they, they're good at what they do and obviously you guys have pointed out that there's a lot of interest in them partly because obviously they've uh they seem to have this heritage of producing you know artists who move on to better things babe metal being a fine example and they seem to be willing to experiment more than others um so given the support for them and the, uh, there's a lot of good voices backing them up i thought let's check out a little bit more and I, I i must admit i've been enjoying them more than i perhaps would have expected to um some of their songs have been a little bit eh, just okay that's what i'd expect but they have had a couple like uh gambare which was like yeah okay that's actually quite a good song so anyway this is jump up and we're gonna check it out now and go school desks don't play to the stereotype now, hey? <laughs> oh, where's my other headphone? Full of sand. That synthesizer, they always used to use that in anime theme tunes, like about 15 years ago. Oh. The muted guitar is just kind of keeping it from getting too cheesy. It is kind of really, really stereotypical pop, but I, I like J-pop. Even the cheesy stuff, I kind of like it. J-pop has this thing for um, key change choruses that you don't really hear so much in the West. It's very much a sort of telltale sign of a J-pop song. And I, I really like it. Again, it's another trope, but it's one that I enjoy. And I should point out before we go any further, I think for a low budget video, this is fantastically directed. I mean, really clever and really nicely executed. I wondered when they were just going to own up to that reference in the melody. In 
in all fairness, is a piece of music that I really like anyway, and they're doing a fantastic vocal arrangement here. noticed them reusing a lot of shots which is a shame i guess the school's only yay big but oh they're going back to the original shot that's nice are we done i think we're done yeah we're done oh no hold on hold on now we're done oh. do you know what i'm going to talk to you but i'm going to walk over here to do it because i can't because i realized this microphone is disconnected so anyway what was i going to say so um the video is really nicely directed i like the way the video is directed because um it's kind of a i guess other people have done things like that and i don't know if it's done as stop motion or whether they just filmed it and sped it up but it was really interesting how they um how they uh, basically decided to do those shots where they had all of the girls in every single shot and you had the changes of their clothes, changes of the things they were wearing, um, you know, changes of times of day. It was very dynamic for a, a video where a lot of the time the camera was standing still. Um, musically, it did a lot of the things that J-pop usually does. It didn't exactly, I mean, certainly the production, the sounds that they used, like I say, right off the beginning, that little synthesizer, the dee -dee 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 thing. <laughs> that's like really like J-pop 101, certainly for go back sort of 15 years or so. And I think a lot of those tropes are the ones that stick around a lot in idol music because idol music um, usually sort of goes with the general soft romantic uh, j-pop sound that many people are familiar with and seems to last over several generations so yeah i mean the the sound of the song was not something which is really going to break anyone's expectations but there was nice little touches um like i say the i can't remember what that piece is which is really annoying because i actually really like it um like the original um but they used that fantastically. I liked how they alluded to that by having the harpsichord sort of playing it in the background a lot of the time. And then in the bridge, rather than just sort of hiding it as a gimmick, in the bridge they really went for it and they did a whole of like vocal arrangement around it, which was fantastic. Um, there were like little... I think this is the thing a lot of the time with Sakura Gakuin. There's really nice little touches to what they do. And there were some really fantastic touches in that song that I noticed. Um, and so, yeah, I, like I say, nothing about that is really going to change the world but for an idol song where there's a lot, a lot of pressure for them to be particularly experimental and where a lot of the time they're not experimental that was really interesting and um i really um i was sort of really left feeling okay this is a good song i guess the big question is is it something i would go back to listening to again oh the camera's gone out of focus hi here i am is it something i'd go back to listening to again and realistically speaking I might, out of interest, reload that sometime, just have a little listen to it and enjoy things like the bridge. The chorus on its own wasn't catchy enough to make me go, oh, wow, I have to hear this song again now. It was one of those songs where it was just, yeah, it's it, it's really great for what it is, but um, I don't know if it would stick in my head as being a real, I must go back and listen to that. Just sort of like, this is a good idol song. I guess if I was invested a lot in the group, which I, I am in a certain degree, but more in a sort of a looking back at them, uh, from what I know now of things like um, baby metal. Um, if I was invested in them as like a sort of current fan, then I would probably really love that just for being a you know, standout uh, song for these girls who I would be invested in as people. Um, as a, just a straight pop song, it's good. Like I say, it's not going to sort of make any top 10 lists anytime soon, but it's one of those ones where it's certainly a lot better than it needed to be. And I think that, that's kind of the thing with Sakura Gakuin. They do have some great songs, it seems. But uh, even when they're not doing like their absolute A material, they always seem to just be a little bit better than they need to be. Sorry, I got sand in my ass. <sighs> they always seem to be a little bit better than they need to be. So basically, with that one, good song. Um, enjoyed it. Interested to hear more of them still. Still more interested, uh, still interested to hear more Sakura Gakuin. But for now, I would say that was just a good one. 
and um, nice little touches. And I'm kind of interested to really see what little fun touches they add to their songs in the future, see what little clever ideas come up when I hear them next. But for now, from Korea, from the beach, where it's getting darker, ciao.